good evening children welcome to aims india's online classes we are discussing about cell its structure and functions today's class also let us recapitulate the concepts which we have learned you know that cell is the fundamental organizational unit of life cell it is the structural and functional unit of life cell was first observed by robert hooke in a dead cork slice in the year 1665 and it is composed of uh, different uh, organelles the parts of the cell are called organelles which are specific in structure and perform specific function cell wall it is the outermost layer in plant cells it maintains shape and protective in function it is mainly composed of cellulose cell membrane it is also called plasma membrane or plasma lemma it is a lipoproteinaceous layer it is selectively permeable in nature nucleus it is a prominent cell organelle it was discovered by robert brown in 1831 it is a double membrane bound dense protoplasmic body it controls all cellular metabolism all activities of the cell hence nucleus is called control center of the cell endoplasmic reticulum it was discovered by porter made up of different structures like cisternae vesicles tubules forms it forms the endoskeleton of the cells and uh, involves in the transport especially proteins and lipids and we have discussed uh, that the golgi apparatus was discovered by camillo golgi in 1898 it is also called dictyosome in plant cells it is also called dictyosome the function of golgi apparatus is secretion of proteins golgi apparatus consists of stalks of membranes bound vesicles that function in the storage lysosomes d dew in 1955 discovered these structures they are fluid filled bag like structures found in animal cells only and are also called suicidal bags of the cell ribosomes palade discovered the ribosomes ribosomes help in protein synthesis they are often called as protein factories of the cells chloroplasts plastids are the unique structures present only in the plant cells these chloroplasts are especially green in color plastids they perform photosynthesis they contain green pigment called chlorophyll mitochondria mitochondria the meaning is mitos thread chondrion granules was named by benda in 1897 it involves in cellular respiration hence called as power houses of the cell or cellular furnaces okay let us proceed to today's topic cell shape children cell is the basic unit of all living organisms as we know that it is the structural unit means all living organisms are made up of cells hence it is called the structural unit according to cell theory the cell can be defined as the basic structural and functional unit of all living organisms if you see the shapes these uh, cells are of different shapes and different uh, in uh, structures and perform different functions depending upon the requirement 
and um, the location and the function these cells perform different uh, functions so living organisms are made up of different types of cells they are of different shapes and sizes today we are going to discuss about the shapes and sizes of the cells a unicellular organism differs in shape from another unicellular organism within a multicellular organism also there are a variety of cells some are long while others are short some are circular while some are oval in shape see here the different shapes different shapes here a muscle cell conical in shape or spindle shape this is the cell of uh, smooth muscles the smooth muscles are present in the internal organs like intestine so nucleus and it is uh, a spindle or oval shape next here see the blood cells they are different shapes wbc possess a variety of shapes like amoeboid amoebocytes they are also called uh, amoebocytes leukocytes because they are lacking hemoglobin so white in color so they are called leukocytes white blood cells or white blood corpuscles they are of different shapes and sizes so rbc is a biconcave oval shape so different shapes of uh, blood cells though they are unicell single cell they are of different shapes so the internal meaning is no two cells possess a unique shape okay they are they are of different shapes and they perform different functions for example nerve cell neuron our brain and spinal cord are made up of uh, these structural and functional units called neurons or nerve cell so the shape is like this the long and uh, slender they are the longest cells they are the longest uh, cells next uh, here reproductive cells or gametes if you take ovum it is oval in shape large in size it is also a single cell spermatozoa or a, sup, a sperm it is also different shape so though they are single celled they are in different shapes and perform different functions so a bone cell here another one bone cell the cell present in the bone osteocytes they are called they are different shape and a fat globule a fat cell they are called adipocytes so they are also different shape so different cells in the body or the various cells from the human body if you take they are of different shapes and they perform different uh, function but one thing you have to remember the structure is related to its function the structure is related to its function for example this neuron it's long and slender the main function of this neuron is it will transmit the information in the form of electrical impulses from brain and spinal cord to different uh, organs so its structure is related to its function for example blood the main function of the blood cells is it performs uh, the transport function so rbc containing hemoglobin it carries oxygen and carbon dioxide to the organs so transport function okay for example muscle cell contraction and relaxation its structure is related to contraction and uh, relaxation and fat cell or adipocytes the main function is storage of fats 
its function is storage so its structure is related to its function storage of excess of fats and the reproductive cells are gametes containing the chromosomes which uh, involves in the heredity transmission of a uh, characters so like that every the total cells in the body are divided into two categories that is somatic cells and germ cells somatic cells means vegetative functions germ cells means reproductive functions so let us briefly study about the structure and the cell size the size of different cells ranges between broad limits most cells are visible only with microscope because they are the smallest unit of living organisms the prokaryotic cells prokaryotic cells means the cells with a primitive nucleus or lack of nucleus these prokaryotic cells usually range between 1 to 10 microns 1 to 10 microns and the eukaryotic cells its range is 10 to 100 microns it's very big in size compared to prokaryotic cells the smallest cell the smallest cells are those of mycoplasma that is 0.1 microns the smallest cells they are also called pplo pleuro pneumonia like organisms pleuro pneumonia like organisms they are the smallest cells and the longest cell of animal is nerve cell the nerve cell it ranges uh, about uh, 1 to 1.5 meters long 1 to 1.5 meters long so here the relative sizes of the cells a scale is given here cells and their components here um, in the electron microscope by using the nano technology the size of the cell is measured and when it is observed under light microscope the ranges are given here different organisms like uh, the small molecules atoms combined to form molecules it is measured in angstroms one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 meters 1 cm is equal to 10 to the power of minus 2 meters 1 mm is equal to 10 to the power of minus 3 meters 1 micrometer is equal to 10 to the power of minus 4 meters 1 nanometer is equal to 10 to the power of minus 8 meters so angstrom so 1 angstrom to 1 cm this is the smallest length given here if you observe the range the small molecules it range from 1 angstrom to 1 nanometer 1 nanometer very small and if you take the viruses 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer size the bacteria 1 micrometer ranging from 0.1 to 1 micrometer then the animal cell range up to 10 micrometers and uh, the plant cells up to 100 micrometers compared to animal cell plant cell are somewhat large in size so here the concept is the size cell size is measured in millimeters or microns or micrometers or the smallest units uh, nano meters okay as we move from left to right the size increasing okay so the cell size depends upon the size of the organism okay in unicellular organisms the cell size is very small okay so these uh, unicellular organisms we cannot uh, see with our naked eyes because their size is very very small so we use the microscopes like light microscope compound microscope and electron 
microscopes with the help of electron microscope we can study the internal organization of cells clearly okay so children that's why whenever you observe anything in the laboratory under microscope better to make it note draw the picture which is visible and try to label the parts practice it okay so there are um, so far once again um, if you recall the fundamental organizational unit of life is the cell cells are enclosed by a membrane called as a plasma membrane it is composed of lipids and uh, proteins the plasma membrane is selectively permeable in plant cells a cell wall composed of cellulose is located outside the cell membrane and in prokaryotes prokaryotes means bacterium in prokaryotes nuclear membrane is absent the endoplasmic reticulum functions both as passageway for intracellular transport for intracellular transport and as manufacturing surface lysosomes lysosomes are the special structures of the membrane bound sac filled with digestive enzymes involved in intracellular digestion the golgi apparatus consists of stalks of membranes bound vesicles membrane bound vesicles that functions in storage mitochondria are also known as the power houses of the cell there are two types of plastids are present in the cell chromoplastids and leucoplastids chromoplastids green plastids are called chloroplasts other than that remaining colored plastids are called chromoplastids vacuole this is the vacuole the vacuoles are the storage sacs for solid or liquid contents present only in the present uh, in the plant cells the vacuoles present in the animal cells they are called they are different they are more in number and small in size compared to plant cells all the cells arise from pre existing cells this was a statement given by rudolf virchow okay children so there are several questions uh, ask lysosomes are called suicidal bags of the cell why what happens if the plasma membrane ruptures or breaks some interesting questions you read the textbook okay or prepare a model of plant cell and animal cell so with the help of uh, the available materials okay you can draw the pictures and you can prepare a model next uh, what would happen to the life of the cell if there was no golgi complex so like that imagine analyzing so such kind of questions you will answer only when you understand the concept when you understand the lesson when you read the lesson then you can able to answer if you know the function of that particular organelle what happens if that organelle is not present you can easily justify the answer what happens to the cell if the nucleus is removed okay what happens if the nucleus is removed all the cellular metabolism will be stopped okay why do plant cells possess large sized vacuole okay. some question next uh, how do you appreciate about the organization of cell in the living body you have to think and uh, write the organization of the cell is destroyed due to physical and chemical influence what will happen okay. how could you appreciate the function of tiny cells in a large body of an organism okay we are performing different functions digestion respiration excretion all these activities actually they are taking place at a cellular level okay children so as uh, tomorrow that is 28th 
you are going to have an exam on this uh, chapter cell structure and function let us uh, go through one exercise cell quiz number 5 the nucleus and the cytoplasm together are known as nucleoplasm cytoplasm protoplasm stroma what is the right answer nucleus and cytoplasm together are known as protoplasm protoplasm is equal to nucleus plus cytoplasm okay next different colors of flowers in plants is due to the presence of cell wall mitochondria plastids nucleolus what is the answer plastids okay these plastids are how many types two types what are they chromoplasts chromo chromo means colored so these colored plastids will give the color next one is leuco leuco means colorless these uh, leuco plastids uh, they are present in the stored parts of the plant the main function is storage of food materials for example seeds and stem potato the white color portion that is leucoplast starch and banana in the fruit leucoplast and in the seeds that uh, embryo of the seed is composed of uh, this leuco leucoplast endosperm of the seed particularly leucoplast so what is the color of petals given by chromoplast that's why beautiful colors of the flowers you can observe in the nature cell theory was given by or proposed by charles darwin theodore schwann matthias jacob sladen okay, what is the correct answer here cell theory was proposed by yes both sladen and schwann sladen was a, a botanist schwann was a zoologist both put together theory called cell theory they proposed cell theory according to which all living organisms plants and animals they are made up of structural and functional units called cells next question small rod like structures which oxidize food to produce energy they are called golgi bodies mitochondria lysosomes endoplasmic reticulum small rod like organelles which oxidize food to produce energy okay yes what is the answer mitochondria that's why they are called power houses of the cell they produce energy in the form of atp what is atp energy currency adenosine triphosphate okay when food which food digested food materials when they reach the cells there these glucose amino acids fatty acids they are oxidized to release energy okay so mitochondria b is the correct answer next dash is the largest cell human nerve cell egg of an ostrich 
egg of blue whale bacterial cell here you you need to understand the term largest okay means explaining uh, regarding the size longest different from largest so what is the correct answer ostrich egg ostrich egg is a very largest egg single cell living okay next a cell organelle which contains most of the hydrolytic enzymes is called ribosome peroxisome lysosome mesosome okay a cell organelle which contains most of the hydrolytic enzymes come on children what is the answer lysosomes okay so these ribosomes they are globular structures they involve in protein synthesis no digestive enzymes are present peroxisomes it involves in uh, photorespiration okay present in the plant cells next uh, mesosomes mesosomes are present in the bacteria they acts like uh, mitochondria okay because uh, cell organelles are absent in the unicellular organisms are prokaryotes so in prokaryotes like bacteria these mesosomes develop from the cell membrane they produce energy but here according to the question hydrolytic enzymes are present in the lysosomes okay next reading question is very important children adopt reading the question with concentration the plastids present in roots seeds and underground stem of a plant is chloroplasts chromoplasts leucoplasts vacuoles okay roots stem and underground stem underground stem means like potato so what are the plastids leucoplasts because the stored food material is the main function of a leucoplast of course the vacuoles also store but in the form of fluids excess of fluids to maintain the osmotic balance these vacuoles are useful in the plants but chloroplasts photosynthesis chromoplasts to give color to the different uh, petals of the flowers to attract the insects and animals for cross pollination so here the correct answer is c leucoplasts which of the following is the longest cell here the term longest longest cell in the human body nerve cells bone cells muscle cells gland cells what is the answer directly nerve cells nerve cells are the longest cells several meters in So here uh, the bone cells, muscle cells, and gland cells they are short compared to nerve cells. Next question: Which of the following is a sac-like structure that store food, wastes, and uh, water? Lysosomes, centrosomes, chromosomes. vacuoles which of the following are sac like structures that store food waste and water so children in the exam sunday's exam most of you are finishing the quiz within the 15 minutes or 20 minutes actual the prescribed time is 45 minutes so read question thoroughly and select the option don't uh, be in hurry okay 
so here the question is which is which of the organelles store the food waste and uh, water the answer is vacuoles d next question which of the following statements is the correct definition of the cell the cell is the smallest part of living being the cell is the part that can be seen only under a microscope the cell is the starting point in the life of all organisms the cell is the structural and functional unit of life so you have to consider cell theory definition of the cell you can define the cell as yes d the structural and functional unit of all living organisms are structural and functional unit of life okay these are passage ways in the cell that carry proteins that carry proteins and other materials from one part of the cell to another golgi bodies endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria nucleolus what is the right option the right option is endoplasmic reticulum transport cellular transport okay next this structure packages and distributes proteins packages and distributes proteins throughout the cell golgi bodies endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria nucleus nucleolus golgi bodies what is the right answer golgi bodies see most of the cell structures important organelles like ribosomes golgi complex endoplasmic reticulum that is rough endoplasmic reticulum so they are all the main function is related to proteins 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 that's why the building blocks of the cells are proteins the building blocks of the living organisms are cells cells are the building blocks of living organisms and these cells are made up of proteins proteins are called building blocks of the cells okay and amino acids are called building blocks of proteins so that's why if there are no proteins most of the functions are almost all functions all enzymes are proteins all hormones are proteins so most of the important vital functions in the body are related to proteins okay children so that's why you need to include proteinaceous food in your balanced diet every day next question this structure is a storage area for the cell plants usually have a one large one golgi bodies endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria vacuole this structure is a storage area for the plant cell what is that obviously vacuole the large one means vacuole it is a store house of the plant cell it is also called uh, the store house of the plant cell this structure is a storage area for the cell same repeated the question the answer is vacuole which organelle makes ribosomes it's a dense area of dna inside of the nucleus okay so if you take a nucleus the nucleus is covered by a membrane a double layered membrane 
what is that membrane called nuclear envelope okay and it also contains internally so chromatin material is present along with that a colored body is present what is this body called nucleolus okay so which organelle makes ribosomes it's a dense area of uh, dna inside of nucleus this is the dna a dense area okay it is called nucleolus it is called nucleolus okay at the time of cell division it plays an important role next which organelle aids with the detoxification of the cell as well as makes lipids for cell membranes rough endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria golgi complex which organelle involves in detoxification of cell as well as makes lipids or synthesis of lipids for cell membranes what is the right answer smooth endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum it is the main detoxification involves in detoxification means breaking the high toxic materials into low toxic materials next all living cells have this in common nucleus cell membrane mitochondria cell wall see the options variety options are given so here the answer is yes exactly cell membrane nucleus it may present may not present if it is a prokaryotic cell nucleus is not present if it is a prokaryotic cell mitochondria may not be present if it is animal cell cell wall is not present so here you have to analyze the options after reading the question immediately you have to think about the answer and the options which are given two options are very closely related here cell membrane and cell wall somewhat related to okay so cell membrane is the common structure whether it is prokaryotic cell or eukaryotic cell any living cell cell membrane is present so last question of the day these are found in animal cells they play a major part in cell division smooth endoplasmic reticulum cell membrane centrioles cell wall so the answer is centrioles centrioles are present in the structure called centrosome okay there are two centrioles are present in the centrosome okay this is centrosome at the time of cell division so for example nucleus is present the centrioles will reach the opposite poles of the nucleus and they involve in cell division they involve in the cell division so centrioles present only in the animal cells but at the time of cell division plants also will produce this centrioles okay children all the best for your exam tomorrow prepare well read textbook thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel to get latest updates